Hey guys, so welcome to a different type of video. Corsair sent me some gear and I'd like to go over what I think about it and give my unbiased review. I am not paid by them to say anything, just to be clear, but they did give it to me to say what I think about the certain gear they gave it to me. Oh, and just a disclaimer, I did unbox them a couple of times and try to record this already, so they are out of their packaging, they're just in the boxes. Do not judge their boxing wrapping because I stuffed up my end. So let's get straight into it. So first up, we have the Corsair M65 Pro gaming mouse. The MM300 gaming mousepad extended, the Void RGB gaming headset with 7.1 surround sound, and the Corsair gaming keyboard mechanical rapid fire K70 RGB. So first, the MM300 gaming mousepad. Now, for my own personal use, I wouldn't actually use it because I have my own mousepad and I wouldn't have room for the extended mousepad. For extended mousepad, you can actually put your keyboard and your mouse on top of it in all one row, so you won't need to have two separate things. Now, personally, I have no room, so I can't actually use it in my own area, but it does feel nice and it does work out to what you would need for an extended mousepad. If you are interested in an extended mousepad, these are probably the ones you want. Um, you can go from small to large also, but the, if you want a whole extended one, um, this is probably one of the best ones you could probably get. It's very big, it's, it's made out of cloth and it has a nice design, so what more could you want? Next up is the M65 Pro Gaming Corsair Mouse, and I'm going to be honest, I fell in love with this mouse. I've been using Razer Death Adder for most of my time gaming, and the first time ever using a different mouse and this sort of figure, I've actually really got enjoy, in, enjoyed playing with. Now, it has a whole lot of sensitivity options. I kind of just keep mine as a basic, what I had in my uh, default. Um, but for the RGB also it changes a whole lot of colors. It's really cool to look at um, It feels really nice in my palm. I have no issues with it um, the, the wheel is actually really some um, like stable doesn't roll off and it also has a sniper button on the left side I don't know really that that's for it's probably you know, you can set up buttons But I'm actually a real big fan of the Corsair mouse um, M65 Pro and it works really well for the second last one We had a headset. It is a void RGB Corsair gaming headset now, there's a couple of problems I had personally with this, is that it's really comfy, I really do like it, but the only thing that I found an issue with, and it took me a couple of hours, is that this is not compatible, this headset is not compatible with the drivers through Windows 7. I think you need the Windows 10 to be able to actually use the headset, but I couldn't actually use it until I upgraded to Windows 10. Now the microphone is actually really solid, it's really comfy, and it also is RGB, so the headset itself can light up into different colours. I actually like this headset, it's 7.1 surround sound, so I actually like that sort of headset. Uh, and I will definitely most likely be using this when I upgrade to Windows 10 again, um, over the any other headset I've been using. Just because it's comfy, it cups your ear, and there's actually no problems with it. Now the last one is the K70 keyboard, mechanical, um, the rapid fire. I'm going to be very biased in this opinion because I personally do not like the keyboard. And it's not the keyboard's fault. Actually, the reason is the keyboard's too good and I don't like it personally. Um, so it's a mechanical keyboard. I've never used mechanical till now. I've always used a really crappy old keyboard that you had to press hard to actually press the button to move somewhere. Um, it's so touchy because it's mechanical that if I have my finger resting on the, like a, a certain key like W to go forward, it will push me forward and I don't really want that. After three or four days of aggravating because I kept moving somewhere I don't want to be I, like, while playing Counter-Strike, um, the keyboard is good. It's very impact, it's very small, and the mechanical keyboard itself is actually really good. I like it a lot. I'd prefer to keep it, but I personally can't use a mechanical keyboard because I just I, like, I prefer an old one where I can actually have to press hard for me to go somewhere. 
So the reason is, yeah, it's too good for me to use. That's the only reason. Other than that, it's actually a really nice keyboard. It's RGB, so it lights up into different lights and little patterns. It's very impact and small, as I said, so you can carry it to lands or such, or whatever you want to go to. Um, you can take it anywhere if you need to take it in your backpack, which is actually really good. Other than that, it's actually a really good keyboard, but I just personally, I can't use it. I personally don't like it because of how mechanical it is. If it was a non-mechanical keyboard, I think my opinion would be completely different. I just hate mechanical because it's also noisy and it's also um, very touchy. But yeah, that's just my honest opinions on these four uh, accessories. They're really actually pretty cool and I really do appreciate it to the Corsair guys. Uh, and Chris, if you are listening, I really do appreciate you guys for um, supporting me and giving me these items to review. And I'm glad if anyone else thinks that it's awesome, Corsair is actually really one, like pretty much one of the late leading brands in gaming gear and such. So a huge shout out to Corsair, go follow them and everything. I really do appreciate it and thank you very much for watching. I'm also going to be doing a little montage at the end of this video while using all the Corsair gear. Uh, a couple of matches I did and hopefully you guys can enjoy that too. Other than that, I hope I can show you guys more Corsair stuff in the future. Corsair are actually pretty amazing, so thanks very much once again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow. Oh. <sighs>